Hey, what's up coach? Now in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to stay self-employed in the sports training industry. And a lot of what I talk about in this video will come down to the things that I know most humans like to avoid. And it's funny, I just recorded a 30 minute video about this and it didn't get recorded. <laughs> so I'm reshooting the video here. And ideally you take out a pen and a piece of paper. I'm gonna try to make this like 10 minutes. And I really do feel like if you take action and you implement some of the stuff I talk about here, this year can be a lot more successful for you than last year. And I really do mean that I see daily People that I work with that make these sort of changes and once they do, their business is more successful. And I hope this is impactful for you, but it's not gonna work if you just listen to what I talk about. It's only gonna work if you listen and execute, all right? So with that being said, I'm break, breaking this into three different phases. So first, I wanna talk about time management. Second, I wanna talk about sense of urgency. And third, I am going to be talking about uh, both of those things kind of tied into each other, right? So first with time management. Most people, and probably yourself included, will spend 20 hours per week just looking at their phone. That's just like dead time looking at YouTube, looking at Instagram. I would say most people, it's way more than 20 hours, but the average I would say is 20 hours. Um, and that, that also includes time like watching TV at night, watching Netflix, getting distracted. And the thing that has helped me so much when I started my business and where I am now, because I've had a business for a very long time now, it is that I recognize what my distractions were early on and I got rid of those things. Once I got rid of those things, my business became more successful like that, right? Because I got rid of things that were blocking my time every day, right? For me, it was texting friends back and forth. It was watching Spurs games. Like I love the San Antonio Spurs, but I used to watch every single season game, right? I did not realize how much time I was spending doing that until maybe two years after I was like, wow, I just watched every season and every playoff game and back then when they were good, they were going to the finals most years, <laughs> right? So I started to realize, how do I want to spend my time? Like, if my business isn't successful right now, whose fault is that? Is that my fault? Is it the Spurs' fault because they're playing so many season games? No, it's, it's me. I need to check myself. So I started to get rid of stuff like that. Started to use this as a tool to make money, not a distraction, right? And I've talked about this in other videos. You, you can look at social media, you can look at your phone where you are a producer, you are producing content, you are producing leads, you are producing sales, or you can use the phone as a consumer, right? Most people who consume things all day are not happy. They're just wasting time scrolling around, right? So how you spend your time is up to you. And I want you to write down the number 20 because if you write down the number 20, that to me is the hours minimum that you're wasting every week. And when we multiply that times four, because there's four weeks every month, all right, we're spending 80 hours of wasted time, just completely wasted time, doing nothing, like getting distracted on social media. And let's say you, you cut that number from 80 to 40 and you spent 40 hours of focus time during the month, marketing, selling, learning, like implementing, uh, just head down focused. How much more successful your business be, would be if you just cut out half of the amount of distractions that you have right now? The thing is most people aren't willing to do that because they love pleasure so much. They love... Uh, getting likes on Instagram. They like being liked. They want to have validation. Your business doesn't need validation. Your business needs more clients, right? 
You don't need validation. You don't need people to like you. you. You need clients to be successful, to stay in business, right? And here's the thing. The, how you spend your time is always up to you. It's not going to be up to, to someone else telling you how to spend your time. It's going to be how you decide to live your life. For me, my sense of urgency, which is the second thing I want to cover here, that started back in 2009, 2010. I hated my job enough to realize my sense of urgency has to be at an all-time high if I'm going to start a business and stay in business. And I made the decision back then. I, I told myself before like I posted on social media that I'm starting a business, I told myself I'm not going back to work for anybody ever again for the rest of my life. I told my wife that before we got married. I said, hey, this might be a bumpy road. There's going to be some years that are unbelievable. There are going to be some years that are hard. They're painful for me. They're challenging. But guess what? I'm not going to I'm not going to pack it in and go work for someone. So are you with me? Because that is not an option. In my life, that's not an option. And she was all on board. Right? All on board since day 1. Right. So for me, that's not an option. So my sense of urgency when I wake up in the morning, it is to hunt. It is to get new leads, close those leads, and continue. That is the only thing I do in my business. All right. It's the only thing I do. And I'm very good at that because I just have a high sense of urgency to work on my business and to improve and to get better. Right. Obviously, like I take care of my clients and stuff like that, right? But to stay in business, you have to have a high sense of urgency for yourself. And no one can tell you what that is. Like you have to have that for yourself. And I think what you'll see over the next year to two years to three years, I'm gonna be interviewing really successful coaches that are going to be on this channel. The thing that they will all have in common is they have a high sense of urgency when they wake up in the morning. They are clear on what they want. They understand why they have a business. And it's, and it's meaningful enough for them to wake up at the same time every single day. Right? And their reason why is not why you should be in business. Their reason why is only uh, meaningful to them. Right? And if you don't have a, a sense of urgency with your business, then here's what happens. You always wait. You wait for clients. You wait for opportunity. You wait f for the perfect moment to do something. That just doesn't exist. And when you wait, there's other people like me that are in your city that are just going to go get the clients that you're waiting for. <laughs> right? And when you wait around, you lose and you don't stay in business. I know this. I, I talk to people all the time that are on the verge of quitting. And I know when I tell them, when I'm talking to them, like half the people that I talk to, I tell them to quit because they don't have that sense of urgency. And I ask them, well, why are you in business? And it, when they don't even know why they're in business in the first place, they should not be in this business. All right? You're in the business of helping kids get better at the sport that they're at, that they play. And you got to understand why. Like, you're not doing it just to make money, right? You're not doing it just to make money. If, if that's the case, you're, I mean, it's going to be a short-lived business because you're probably not going to make a lot of money your first year. <laughs> Most people don't. Most people don't make a lot of money in year one, year two, or, or year three, all right? And that sense of urgency that you have is something you have to figure out, all right? Now, when we tie both these things back in together, to stay in business for a long period of time, you have to be a master of time, how you spend your time. And one of those things is literally, before you go to bed at night, writing out what you're doing tomorrow, hour by hour. That is one of the most simple ways of getting good with time management that anyone can do, but again, most people would rather spend 20 hours per week. They're, they're doing a part-time job in front of the TV or part-time job scrolling on Instagram. That is how much time people waste, minimum. But some people are way more than that, right? And 
when you master your time, when you wake up in the morning, it's clear on what you need to be doing. And when you wake up in the morning, you can look at yourself in the mirror and be like, hey, I'm going to follow through with the goals that I set up for myself last night. Or, you know what, today I'm going to be an idiot and I'm just going to get distracted and that's on me. And like, you can make that conscious decision when you wake up in the morning. And when you go to bed at night, you can look yourself in the mirror and be like, you know what, I executed today. Or you could be like, you know what, I, I didn't do a great job of executing it, but tomorrow I need to do a better job. And when you are consistent for weeks, those turns into, that turns into consistent months. That turns into consistent years. And people ask me all the time, well, Ben, how do you stay motivated? I am not a motivated person. Like I, I am good at doing the boring work. Right? I don't need to be fancy with what I do. I do the boring work. I do it well. And I do that so I can create free time in my personal life. That's the purpose of my business. The purpose of my business, like one of the purposes, it is to be incredibly efficient during the day so I have free time to spend with my wife. Right? It is not to work in here 20 hours per day doing fake work that doesn't move the needle, fake work that doesn't get clients. If I'm doing that, I don't ever get to see my wife. That's my fault. Right? The purpose, one of the purposes of my business, so I can have more family time. Right? So I, I hope this makes sense. And again, when you master your time and you have a sense of urgency when you wake up in the morning, you can be unstoppable with your business. The only direction that this industry is going in, it's up. Like there are too many kids now and not enough good coaches. Sports is getting more and more popular. So if you are a good coach, you can capitalize over the next 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years of time. And when you learn business and you start executing on that, then you become the category of one in your city. And that is what I teach. I don't teach you how to have competitors. I teach you how to dismantle your competition. And you do that through consistency. You don't do that through a one week hard push in your business or, oh, I'm motivated today and I'm going to work hard and I'm going to write this email today. No, it is consistency. And if you're watching this video and you're like, wow, like I need to change my habits and wow, like I, I need help with my business and I'm tired of how things are going, reach out to me. I think you might be a good fit for our accelerator program. All right. At this point, we've already helped hundreds of coaches in that program. A lot of those people, over 100, have created six-figure businesses. All right. Everyday coaches are getting results. Uh, it's one of those. It's one of those programs where if you work with me, you have to roll up your sleeves. Um, you have to learn. You have to learn how to sit there and like watch a video, without getting distracted, so you can execute that. Uh, you have coaching daily. We have weekly coaching calls. Um, we have a community. You can bounce your ideas off of other people that are in the game, that, are, that have been in the game already. And uh, we have all the course material that you would ever need to, to grow your business. Um, and if you want to learn more about that, there's a link in the description. It's the first link. You can go watch a video, go set up a time to chat with me, um, and I'll just show you so you can kind of like understand how this is set up. So I'm not gonna like show people's names on here. So this is my, my calendar for people who are interested. I don't know if you can see it, all right? So my whole day today is completely packed with talking to coaches that are applying for the program. These are serious coaches that wanna grow their business. These are not people who watch one YouTube video thinking, oh, I wanna start a business now, and they don't know why, all right? These are people who are serious. Most of these people will end up joining our program because I know what we have will help them and it works. All right. So again, if you're watching this video, I hope, I hope this video helps. And if you want to take the next steps and you want real 
coaching and you want to learn from someone who's already been there and done it. And I, I don't think there's going to be a better spot in, in the world to, to get that sort of help. So go apply for our program. Go in the first link in the description. Click on that link. Watch the video. Set up a time to chat with me where I can meet you and I can learn about your business. See if we're a good fit to help. And if we are, our program will be a great fit. If we're not, I'll tell you. Um, I, at this point, I accept probably 20% of the people that I actually speak to. Uh, as far as like giving them an opportunity to join our program, 80% of the people I talk to, most of them, I mean, most of them aren't, aren't a good fit or they don't have clients yet or they, they don't know enough about business or they're not wanting to start a business. They just, they want to cheat code and I don't help people like that. So that's it for today's video. I hope this helps. I'll see you later.